there. So chunking right. is when we identify, okay, where in the sentence do we break? Where do we kind of break and how much do we connect? So yeah. like we went through and said, second reason, mm -hmm. break, okay? It's been shown that if you speak two languages, break. A lot of times it happens at periods, at commas. Dementia is less likely to set in, break, okay? And that you're probably a better multitasker, break. So what we do is we call these chunks where we kind of break apart sentences in certain areas that make yeah. mo the most sense. It, it's not a hard and fast. There's, you know, you can break at different times, but um, so like these ones, and these are factors that set in early, or I could say, and these are factors that set in early. So I yeah. could break that into two or I could do it as one. Yeah, I okay. understand that. But you're talking now about um, a pause and I had a, I was more talking like, um, like, like linking in, in, in sentences. Like um, if I had the sentence, it's been shown that you, if you speak two languages, um, you can't flow it all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? You can't say it's been shown that if you speak two languages, um, there are a couple, maybe a couple of linkings, but not every word is linked to each other, right? No, there is. So within that chunk, yeah, we're linking every word together. So what you just did was linking every word together. So you didn't say it's been shown that if you speak two languages, you know, you don't, you're, you're not breaking in between each word, you're connecting each word together. So okay. even though there's two kind of hills or two waves, to that yeah. it's been shown that if you speak two languages i'm not breaking my voice through that whole thing and that's what linking is is we're yeah, not breaking but, our voice we're just connecting our voice through the whole thing yeah but i didn't i didn't uh, the the material uh i know i know the rules but I, it wasn't like oh yeah i have to um uh, being an s is is just uh I, I wasn't paying attention to that you know what i'm saying mm-hmm so we so, get really, we re, I, I get really kind of focused on the exact linking and connecting and how to connect words together. But yeah. in the lesson, essentially what linking is, is just keeping the voice on through the whole thing and connecting sound to sound without breaking. Okay. Yeah, right. So that's what we're trying to do is in those sound to sounds, you mm -hmm. know, we're, we're really making sure that we keep our voice on and we we smoothly can transition from one sound to the next without yeah. it you know breaking or struggling between that yeah, so yeah you're doing yeah, a really I good job with that, that. Mm -hmm. i understand what it is i know what linking is but it's more like uh, am i doing it uh, right or yeah and you are <laughs> so right. so what i'm going to tell you is that you have a very good flow to the linking if yeah. you find that your mouth does not want to move from one sound or one word to the next, yeah. then that's the point where you stop and say, okay, what's that link? What's that connection? What are those two sounds that are, that I'm struggling to get my mouth between? Yeah. And that's when you start applying those sounds of like, okay, how do I get from this sound to this, this sound smoothly without it being a struggle? Yeah. All right. And what I also noticed is, is that, um, if you have two uh, two th sounds right uh, right after each other, each other, mm -hmm. then um, uh, most most likely there uh, there's only one th sound pronounced. I, I notice that a lot in, in English English uh, sentences. So, like, if one one word ends in a th th sound and the next one begins with a th sound, is that what yeah, you mean? Yeah, I can't really mm -hmm. uh, have an example for you. With that. Yeah. The with most that. English uh, American, what? So the, a word, a sentence like with that. With that. With that. Yeah. yeah. So with, that would only, and that's part of the linking rules too, is when you have the same sound at the end of a word yeah. as at the beginning of the word, you only say that sound once. Yeah. So you don't that. say with that, you just say with that. With, with that. that. Mm -hmm. You're just You're only going to say that sound once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. But I already, uh, I, that's not, that's not, uh, maybe not the, the issue for me, but um, then I have a second question if, you, if I have some little time. Okay, what is it? <laughs> You're stoked. <laughs> yeah, I know, I have a hurry, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, um, I just got to go. And it sounds like Naomi might be in the same situation. Naomi, hi. Hi. 
did you think that that so we're just finishing the study group you might have been off with the time are, are you were you kind of off with the time today uh, I don't know what, what you mean. Maybe. <laughs> so we, we had started the, the study group about an hour and 10, 12 minutes ago. So I'm kind of staying Nazi. over and answering some questions, but I think that there, because of the time change, there was some confusion. Yeah. Okay. About an hour ago. Yeah. So the time changed a couple of weeks ago for the study group. So yeah. it's actually oh. an hour earlier now for you. We want okay. our money back. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, we're I doing our best. <laughs> no, but can I um, ask one more question? Or, okay, uh, yeah, and then Naomi, I'll, let me get to you afterwards. Okay, go ahead, Ludwig. I'm going to take private okay. lessons. You what? Soon. I'm going to take private lessons, so no worry. I, uh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm I think that would be that. helpful. Yeah, but um, I heard some, uh, some English uh, sentences uh, uh, on my music. <laughs> Um, there, was, there was, for example, one example or one sentence I said, um, the crow's above me. And it sounded really, um, really, uh, yeah, not really Dutch, but you can hear the Dutch flavor in it. And I was a little bit of frustrated about it. Um, the crow's, the crow's, they, the crow's above me. Oh, above me. Yeah, it's, it's just one example of one, ex uh, one sentence. Okay. The crow's above me, and it sound, added a Dutch flavor to it, and I can't figure out why that is. The crow's above me. Yeah, the crow's above me. So the only thing that I'm noticing is O's. There's kind of a lot of emphasis on O's that you're doing yeah. that, that might need to be just kind of settled down a little bit. The crow's above me. Is it too much? Is it just it sounded like English? Yeah, so crows above me, the crows above me. Say it again. The crows above me. The me is not re is a little bit Dutch, I think. Mm. The crows above me. I'm not hearing it. The crows above me. Yeah, maybe it's all right, but... I, yeah, I, you might have been working on it enough that you've kind of worked through that. Yeah, but that's, um, that's, the, that's the thing, because my friends are saying, yeah, Sometimes, yeah, you're still sounding Dutch, or or they say, yeah, you don't have to sound English, uh, like Britain accent, you know. Oh, gotcha. So maybe yeah. I'm too over over. Um, uh, how do you say it? I'm too over. Over pronouncing, uh, yeah, yeah, being more yeah. too more too precise on it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that those are the kind of those smaller nuances that just need to kind of be fine tuned and worked with. I think that. Um, is you do like the weekly challenge or anything, you might be able to add some of those in the, there or with the live lessons, just yeah. kind, of, kind of work in some of those, um, those phrases so that we can mm -hmm. kind of tweak it a little bit. Cause it's not like a very, you know, what you're doing is not incredibly obvious, but is in context with the whole thing put together, yeah. it might be, um, there might be some things to kind of yeah, but how can I figure that out, uh, or or what can I train in the, in the upcoming weeks? Uh, so, I mean, a lot of what you're doing is higher level stuff. So it's either you know, if you're not hearing it and you're not able to kind of shift that, then getting getting some private lessons so that we can kind of help you hear hear and yeah. shift um, yeah. is is what's going to be needed. Private lessons. Yeah, I would I would recommend that. But I'm in week week uh, ten now, so I have to uh, still two more weeks uh, to mm -hmm. go. But um, okay. in number ten, though, you do have an assignment that you can send in for for help. Have you gotten yeah, to yeah. that part? Yeah, but you have to you have to add um, the pro uh, course. I have to. No, uh, I give it to all basic members. Look again, oh, really? at lesson ten. You can send in a recording for feedback. Oh really? All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can. Yeah, because I'm rapping and singing. Eh? You know, because maybe in our private lessons, maybe we should tackle uh, tackle that. Yeah. So yeah, you can you can kind of decide. But at your higher level, you're going to need more personalized help to be able to fine tune all tune all those. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks, Ludwig. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye.